AFTV, a free one, a great comeback by Arsenal in the second half. Was you fearful in, you know, when we went 1-0 down? I'm not going to lie, I was a bit concerned because I felt, um, you know, these guys actually came out to defend and they were doing a very good job because they were throwing their bodies, their head, their hand. We actually thought that was a penalty, isn't it? At some point, mm. I thought it was still a penalty, but, you know, I didn't see the replay, but I thought it was a penalty because I thought he stuck his hand out. But the point is, these guys were defending for their lives, right? They, they, they came here to defend and counter and, and you know, to use um, their strikers to just run at us and that's how they got the penalty in the first place, you know? So I was a bit fearful, but then again, I thought if we could score a goal within the first 10 minutes of the second half, then we're going to be onto them. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. We got the goal on the ninth minute within the second half. And before you know it, it was 3-1. And, you know, if you look at the goals that we, we actually scored, okay, you look at the likes of Odegaard, for instance, who I thought for me is my man of the match. Mm. Because the way he controlled the game, you know, he created a lot of chances. I think in the first half, yeah. there were some times he created, uh, he tried to create two chances for Shaka. One of them, Shaka mm. got to it. The other one, the, player, the, 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 the keeper got to it instead. And he was running the show. He's fakes, he's faints. And the fact that this guy can create, right? And at the same time, he can actually defend. When I mean defend, he can actually press up top. He can actually work hard as well. Which simply means he's got the full package. You know, what he does with the ball is unreal. Yeah, you have to think about Ozil, right? Who, by the way, I was a bit critic of. However, why I'm not going to criticize this guy is because he puts in the hard work, and I think that's the difference. He puts in the hard work, and he's still doing the creative part of part of his job, and that's mm. why I really like him. Do you know what I mean? And then the the, the goal, the first goal we scored by Saka, obviously it was a miscue shot from him, right? But we're fortunate that he got onto Saka's leg, and it was a mm. very fantastic, cool finish. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think. Saka had a very good first half, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe it's because they've got two, three players on him. Whenever he got the ball, they've mm. got many players surrounding him. Maybe two players before, you know, and that defensive midfield, like Rex comes on him. Second half, he kind of, you know, got out of that shield a little bit. Maybe because we changed tactics or maybe because, you know, he just stepped up his game. I, I don't know. But then we saw a bit more of him. And then you, you look at the, um, the second goal we scored from Martinelli. I, I thought the keeper did a bad job there. Because it was his, it, it was his, Martin Lee kind of done him with the eyes, though. He, he looked like he was gonna. If you actually watch it, right, he looks like he's gonna cross it, and then just does him straight away. Yeah, and he didn't expect it. You know, quick. You know what I mean? And that's what Martin Lee does. He does. He does everything very quickly. You know what I mean? And you know that that split second. He did him mm, because because I I thought that that wasn't really a shot. It was more like a placement, isn't it? And that the was guy a great shot. Yeah. yeah, was it a shot though? Of course, it's a shot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Fine, I need to watch the replay, guys. Look, what was it then? <laughs> what are you passing? I don't know. It was, what was he doing there? All I'm saying is all I'm all I'm saying is I just thought he should have done a good job there. But mm. then again, who cares? It was you know, number two goal and everything. And then you talk about the goal from Inkatia. Listen, man. <sighs> I've talked about Chambers being, you know, turned like a roasted chicken in the past. I, I, I thought this guy was turned like, you know, Italian spaghetti. Like, the way he literally turned him, like, he didn't really expect it. He allowed the ball to do the work. He didn't touch the ball. He just turned onto the ball and, you know, next thing, far corner. The keeper had absolutely And he was doing no it chance. all throughout the game, Eddie. Yes. He was, he was doing them little turns. Yes. They couldn't live with him. I, yeah. I, I, I thought he... I thought... Actually, I think people who've come on haven't really given him his full props. Yep. I thought he had an amazing game today, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. You know, he's coming for Jesus. His little turns, his little, yep. the, 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 and then his work rate yep. is, is closing down. And I mean, yep. he ran himself into the ground. And then, like you said, when he did get that opportunity, mm -hmm. what a finish. Mm -hmm. Listen, you, you've said it all about him, right? And what I want to say is the fact that people have kind of put, a, a, should I say, an expectation because of what Jesus does. And I had this argument with my friend watching the game together. And I told him, like, listen, can you name me one player that does what Jesus does? <laughs> None right now. The last player I can think of that does what he does in terms of the work rate, in terms of the creativity, was the the Kout. Is it Kout? Kout? How do you pronounce them? The, 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 the Kout. Kout. Oh, shit. I messed up these names, but, you know, excuse my language, sorry, but this guy from Liverpool, like, that they call Durasso, he did that job. You know, he could work, he could work hard, he could also create, he could score. Not many players, so people were expecting Edin Ketia to do that. Sorry, you're not going to get that. What you're going to get from this guy is more like a poacher's kind of job, someone that's going to be in that box to actually work, work the defenders, get the ball at the back of the net. And let's not forget, the goal, the, the goal that was disallowed, it was all him. It was a back heel from him mm -hmm. to Saka. You know, and I think someone was offside. I don't know who was offside, yeah, whether it was yeah. him or Saka, right? Was, yeah. Fine, yeah. he was the one offside, right? But the point of the whole matter is people need to understand that different players come in different shapes and sizes and you expect different things from them. Don't expect the same thing. And I want people to address their mind. And, and you need to understand that this guy is working on confidence. A lot of people have already written, written him off. They were thinking he wasn't going to do it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But then again, let's not forget last season, he scored five goals in seven games. 
right? Yeah. This is when he had the opportunity. Yeah. And now he's going to get more opportunities, right? And that doesn't mean we shouldn't go into the market because you look at the substitute bench and the only player that I think can actually do a forwards job is Marquinhos. Do you know what I mean? For me, Vieira is still in and out. I'm still in and out when it comes to you know believing in him. So we really need players that are going to come in. We I heard that they've gone. You know, they had a bid for 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 um, Modric today. I saw that on Fabricio's um, Instagram. Whether that's true or not, that's something else. But I think that's someone that can step in and say, okay, you're searching for goals. He's going to be able to do it. Hopefully, we're hoping he's going to be able to acclimatize. But well, I'm going too far now because you know they still need to agree the you know agree the fees, etc. He has seven goals and seven assists in the Ukrainian Premier League this season. That's enough for us to go for him. And one thing I like about Arteta is the fact that he said something. We are going to be active in the transfer window. Yeah. We don't have the luxury not to. Said that last January as well. We need, need to, to believe in Arteta, yeah. bro. No, I believe in him, but he said it last year. So we yeah. need to be active. But no, respect for what you yeah. said, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.